Okay, first of all, you'll need to create a load of systems. So yeah. most business owners go, oh God, I'm already too busy. I, you know, like I've got to create all this stuff. It's too hard. Yes. Yeah, why is that a myth? That is a huge myth. Really? Yeah, yeah. People, for some reason, they build it up in their head. Because the business owner is a creative person and they're not oftentimes very detailed or think in terms of systems, they just... They imagine what they think systems is about and they actually come up with the wrong picture because they're looking at McDonald's or 7-Eleven or these businesses that might have an encyclopedia style book yeah. full of systems and processes. 900 page operations manual, yeah. right? I remember I actually even did some work with a guy, his name's Mike Rhodes and we used to share an office together. He was an ex emith coach, right? So he helped uh, and coached businesses through growing their business, particularly through systems. And we moved into this office together. He'd sold up and moved from New Zealand. And when he got to Melbourne, he started a digital agency and he started to systemize his business. He just, he was already sold on the idea of systems. And I remember he literally created hundreds of these systems. And then he printed all of the titles of these systems out and then stuck them on A4 bits of paper against the wall. So his staff would see it and remember to use the systems. Right. And you can only imagine what happened. Mm. It failed. Mm. <laughs> it bombed. No one looked at them. Very quickly, the systems got out it's of date. Much, right? yeah. um, and no one was really managing them. And it gave me this real key insight. I saw firsthand what happens with over systemization. Mm. Really, a business owner needs to start with 15 to 20 central systems that are required for the delivery of your product or service. Everything mm. from how do you get leads? How do you sell them? How do you onboard them? How do you deliver your product or service? Right. And then how do you get them to come back? If you dot point that out, there's probably 10 to 15 systems. That, that are fundamental. That are fundamental. To you making money or delivering exactly your service right. or product. Yeah. And if you can get those right, just those 15, then you'll have huge improvements in your business with staff efficiency, reducing of waste, keeping focused and on track. So that's the big myth is that you're going to need hundreds of systems mm -hmm. when the truth of the matter is start off with 15 to 20 and that'll be enough to have significant change in your business. Could you give us an example of a few of those like critical kind of ones that you would think? Let's say yeah. I was an accountant. Yes. Like what, what would, you know, like, yeah. I mean, I, I look at my whole business and, you know, like there would be a whole, all different areas that I would kind of think are critical. Yes. But I mean, like, yeah, what would you... Mm. So we have a process called the critical client flow, and it's about mapping the customer journey okay. from attracting them into the business all the way through to the delivery and then getting them to come back. So let's say for an accounting business, um, right at the top of the funnel, you would be thinking, what are some of the systems and processes you use to attract people into your business? Where is that SEO? Is that referral? Is it... Um, AdWords, is it speaking on stage, mm -hmm. is it offline advertising? Think about how you generate business. And then we kind of move down the rung. Once you've got someone's attention, how do you engage them with your business? Mm -hmm. What? How do you get them into your funnel? Do you get them to watch a webinar or download a PDF? Mm -hmm. Then once someone's ready to become a client, how do they What's the next step for them? Do they fill out a form or do they pick up the phone and call you? Mm -hmm. You need a system for how do you answer the phone? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do to direct them to the right person? Then you need a system for you've made that connection. How do you actually sell them? Mm -hmm. Do you have a discovery process? What do you say on the phone? How do you generate a proposal? It's kind of like the flow thing that we assume. I answer the phone, hi, hello, I need an accountant. Yes. Bang, tell us what you are. It's a little bit of that. Yeah. It's a visual thing, It right? might be like a pre-qualification. Well, the, the critical client flow is a, a visual product. The right. end product um, is just an A4 bit of paper that identifies your central product or service and is a visual flow of how someone moves through your business. And each one of those little steps, and we just went through a few then, represent a system that needs to be created. Okay. But if you do that all the way through to onboarding and delivery and then getting them to come back, that it's 15 to 20 systems. Some systems are going to require more detail. For example, um, the delivery of your product or service. You might actually have subsystems underneath that. But again, start high level. 
The aim of the game is to get at least your central flow correct. Okay, and of course, is not to do 100 uh, systems for your business this afternoon. Exactly you know, right. Is a thing right. So, okay. So the first myth is you're going to need to create a load of systems. What you're saying is you need to develop the critical systems that are going to help you deliver your service or product. That's where you start. Exactly. I'm solving a very specific problem for a very specific person. You have target audience that is clear, you know what you're selling and who you're selling it to, and you're now at a point where this is kind of working. My dream is to free all business owners worldwide from the daily operations of running their business. Then once the business gets to a certain size, that's when it needs to be handed over to someone to grow it through to the next level. Something that I've really recognised, it's this systems component, and it's, um, it's so important and it is the answer, the secret to break through to that next stage.